Yes, as you can see, Infinity Ward presents not Treyarch. Uh, is it starting? Yeah, it's starting. But um, basically, I'm gonna be playing some zombies in space plan because I haven't played. I literally haven't played this in so long. I don't even know any of the buildables. This might be hard. This is gonna be a lot different than Treyarch zombies because I'm mostly like to get around the map. I just like do this. I slide jump. I like do that one slide glitch and stuff that it makes me run faster, which Infinity Ward actually patched that, so you can't do that anymore, which really sucks, but, uh, you know, you can't have everything, and of course you can't get, like, you can't get 100 points from perks in this, which makes it kind of tougher, but it does have, like, the bank system, so if you run out of points and stuff, then you can just, you know, withdraw, and then you can in draw or whatever it's called, you know, you can grab points, and, uh, of course I'm Sally this time, which, um, I don't really care about, but why is there like a like a hole right here? Like that's not in Treyarch's not. This is not like a hole there. I, I my melee is a spoon, so uh, if uh, if you wanted to know about that, I I uh, I killed the zombies with a spoon, which wouldn't really be reliable in real life, but uh, it seems to be reliable in a video game. So I might start using. I might use a spoon. I might use one of my plastic spoons even for a real life zombie apocalypse. The thing with this game. Is 8,000 XP is super easy to get. Like, I don't know, but I'm just gonna be ranking up super quick, guys. Oh, God. I might have just messed up. I forgot that I have to have Scope Dollars by round 3. I might be able to get it. I don't really know. I wanna have the. I don't know how powerful this is, is the problem with this candle. It's more powerful than the regular, uh, than the MR6, which I kinda wish they wouldn't do that, so I'm just gonna shoot 8 shots. That was nine, but okay. So it's not as powerful, I guess. But uh, there we go. So basically, down when we get down to six shots. Oh god. These zombies kind of move a little bit quicker, but uh, they're a lot different. But I don't feel like they're that much different. I mean, this is this is a lot different. This is actually quite fun. I was like, I really had the urge because I watched a zombie this baseline video this morning, and I was like, damn, dude, I really want to play some IW zombies. And um, as you know, I only have zombies in Spaceland, which kind of sucks because I'd probably play Raven the Redwoods if I could. Then of course I would, but uh, I can't really do that right now. But uh, of course, challenge shuffle release. But basically, guys, this map is it got boring and that's why I quit playing it. See, look it, I only need 6k. Normally you wouldn't get that much XP on round uh, two, so that's kind of a kind of cool thing. This is the best training spot on the map. Uh, in Treyarch Zombies, this would be extremely easy to train in. So the thing with this map, guys, is you have to remember, this was, this is an Infinity Ward's first zombie map. And yes, it is extremely similar to Treyarch Zombies, but that's because it's their first time trying zombies. I mean, of course, this is nowhere good as, near as good as Treyarch Zombies, but I do enjoy this game. I really do enjoy it. Like, when you play Treyarch Zombies for a long time and then you go back to this, it's it's literally just, like, a godsend. It's so much fun. This map really did a lot of innovation. Like, they did a lot of innovation with, like, infinite grenades. Like, you may not think that's very helpful, but in some situations it can be. I don't ever think I've been in a situation where it's been helpful, but maybe. Oh, see, look at that. The ticket system was one of the coolest things about this, and uh, really, uh, really made the game stand out a little bit. All right, so I am really not getting enough points as I should be right now because I'm not knife room. Neil was also a pretty cool idea. It was kind of like the skill, the points, the skill point system in um, Extinction, but. Uh, Yes, we're not getting XP, like double XP weekend, double XP in Zombies in Space Land is absolutely insane, guys, you just, you just rank up so quick. But the thing with this map is that the zombies, like, it's a big map, so you're not going to be able to get them quick. But, uh, I'm going to do, I'm just going to say right now, I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on this, on Zombies in Space Land, um, the entire week, because I don't have any more videos planned. So, the, the first gameplay that you're seeing, Zombies in Space Land number three, is, um, is going to be made on Wednesday, the day that it's getting uploaded, uh, but, uh, you know, the second episode of this, the Zombies in Space Land number four is going to be uploaded tomorrow, and Zombies in Space Land number five is going to be uploaded the other day, I'm going to make, like, ten gameplays of this, like, honestly, I'm not really, I don't really want to, but I guess if I need to, then I will, I kind of want to make my own box, but, uh, 
I forgot I gotta get these these portals done. So without further ado, thank you guys for watching this episode of Zombies in the Space Land. I will catch you all in the next one. And uh, these videos are gonna be pretty short. So don't get mad at me when you see Zombies in Space Land. Oh, do I have any? No. But uh, don't get mad at me if you see all Zombies in Space Land this week, basically, because I'm sorry, but it's gotta happen. And also, the really cool thing about this was the perks. I'm gonna be talking about all that in the next type couple of videos. Why is there always a hole, like, right in the middle of all these barriers? Like, it's just weird. Anyways, happy number squid. I will catch you all in the next one, guys. And, uh, peace out.